okay though? Yeah, yeah. so far everything's yeah. perfect. Got a little pedestal. Lock door. Butch has been great. Butch is like short wide. All right, you guys good? Okay. Fun morning so far? Yes, right. yes, yes, yes. Awesome. So this is, uh, this is incredibly exciting for us, for me, for, to be able to kind of have this little classroom setting, talk about all the things that we've been working on for a while. I know you guys have been testing the product and I think so far it's been going pretty well, but I want to give you a little bit more of sort of the back history behind it and what, what we're really working on and what we're trying to do. Um, I think a lot of golfers want to hear from you guys in terms of the reaction of what we're trying to do. And, so this is this is the time to do it. So ask questions if you have it, um, and we'll just kind of plow right through. Sure. Um, first, I kind of want to just ask you a question. When you guys think about tailor-made drivers, when you hear people talk about tailor-made drivers, what do people say? Innovative. Innovative? Fast. Fast. Brooke, what do you think? I was thinking fire or speed. Fire or speed. Charlie? Um. I was trying to think because everyone was saying what I was thinking. You can say the same thing. That's <laughs> yeah. okay. Performance. Yeah. Performance. Okay. So one, I would agree with all of you, and I, I like to think that that was stability. Stability. Yeah. yeah. Speed is something that we have been known for innovation as well, and that's something I don't think is going to go away. In fact, you know, you know, DA has mentioned it to you as well. But this idea that when we make a driver as a product creator, you actually want to make the most forgiving driver you have to sometimes sacrifice speed. So for us, that's our challenge and our opportunity. And so as we move forward into 2024, we're gonna start with speed. We're gonna to continue to push the envelope of, of speed. What's the one thing that we have that nobody else has in a driver? Carbon face. Carbon face, exactly. So this 60 layer carbon face, nice job, Colin. <laughs> 60 layer carbon face. The benefit of a light face and strong like this is that you get a better energy transfer. I mean, the heavier side that's around the face kind of continues through impact, giving you that better energy transfer and more ball speed. One of the things that we've learned, this is the third generation of our carbon face, is that not only is the face important, but what holds the face, the collar in this case, and I'm holding it, this is the only titanium that you'll see in the new driver in 2024. What holds the face is incredibly important to, uh, with, uh, with the sort of symphony of parts kind of coming together. Like it has to work together in a way that also provides more ball speed and more performance. And what we've learned is that if this is too rigid, too strong, and this is flexible and rebounding, and if, if they're together, you create sort of a stress concentration that we don't want, especially at the speeds that you guys are swinging at the chance of this sort of not wanting to work together with this part goes down. And so what we've done in 2024 to improve the performance and the durability is to create a more flexible collar that holds the face. So think about like the shocks on, on, on a car or in the tires, you know, kind of taking all those bounces. When the face is flexing and the collar is flexing with it, you get more performance, you get more speed, but you also get this working together. So from a durability standpoint, and the speeds again that you're that you're swinging at go up. Yep. So I'm going to pass this around so you guys get a, get a feel for that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's thicker in the metal too. Yeah, you can see that uh, inverted has the cone. Amount of twist face changed. It's pretty similar, although it looks quite different. And the reason it looks different is you see that darker face and that sort of alignment piece that really allows us to kind of make it look really straight. And that's something I know you've been asking for. The line on top. The line on yeah. top. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This angle looks way better. Mm -hmm. I mean, Roy likes it absolutely dead straight. No loft. Nothing. Like zero. Just... <laughs> yeah. Yep. Get it looking left. <laughs> and so you've already been testing it. Speed wise, what are you guys seeing? What are you feeling? A little more forgiving. Okay. Is... We're going to get into the forgiveness piece in a sec for sure. Yeah, I've yep. found that I'm hitting the same speeds. Um, but the miss hits are definitely tighter. Tighter, okay. Good. For sure, I'm seeing the shape I want at the more consistent faces. Okay. Well, let's talk about, so this, often this trade-off, right, between speed and sort of forgiveness is something that we've had to, to do in the past, and a lot of P 
people who make drivers have to do the same thing, but we're gonna break that. And the first thing is to have this carbon face. Is that, that gives us speed in a way that nobody else can. So now when you talk about forgiveness, I want to understand a little bit, you know, you guys are the best ball strikers in the world. And you know, you don't flush every shot. So in a round of golf, how many times are you flushing a shot? A lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. That's the wrong thing. Yeah. We'll speak for the other yeah. uh, quite often. <laughs> We, we already <laughs> saw that last year in our shoot. He couldn't yeah. even hit it off the center. Yeah, I know. That's right. Even when he tried, that was that was great. Uh, but like those the misses, what do they what do they mean to you? Is it a game of misses? A game of flush shots? What would you say, Scotty? Yeah. What do you? Think? Yeah. Yeah, misses. Game of misses. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. I mean, very rarely do you hit one exactly how you want to, but for most of us. I mean, when do you ever have your A game? <laughs> yeah. All four days. Yeah. Right. And I, think, I, was, I think as well, like we've grown up playing the game for so long that you, if you hit it off the heel or you hit it off the toe, you expect a certain shot yes. to, yes. Yeah. you know, to, to happen. The yeah, gear, gear yeah. effect and more. Yeah. So with this driver, I felt, I played it last week in Dubai, I felt like the heel misses did what they should have done and the toe misses mm -hmm. do what they should have done. And everything's just trying to find its way back to the, the middle, which is is nice so that miss for you might be a couple millimeters off center i mean really for you guys at your level and, and the way you strike the ball but that couple millimeters can mean the difference between sort of hitting the fairway or not or that extra couple yards that you need to get closer to the green and hit a, a shorter iron right colin your typical miss what a couple millimeters on the toe uh i don't know the exact amount but high high toe but i, I actually do the opposite like i hit toe cuts yeah. So normally toe misses are supposed to like kind of bring it back to the left, yeah. but I like to cut it. So knowing that based on the, like the testing I've done with this driver, like that's the miss I want to see. And I've actually been able to see that, which is awesome because right. the past kind of heads up, I've, I've been missing a little bit left. So this is nice to see it cut back. Again. Nice. Tommy, what about you? What's your typical miss and, and how important is the miss for you? Could be anywhere. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's strange, this, this drive is, it was different last week. I started missing it more towards the toe, which was a change in strike location to the last one where I was probably a bit more towards the heel. Mm -hmm. um, like a bottomy one, not losing too much distance um, is like a cool thing to have, Yeah, I always think. Well, so when you think about the average golfer, I mean, we all aspire to hit a flush shot. But we have misses more than more than you guys, and more than than um, you know more in a round of golf as well. And so we wanted to kind of demonstrate what the drivers up to this point have been as it relates to forgiveness, MOI, moment of inertia. Who can define what that is? I'm going to pick on somebody. Come on, Tommy. <laughs> The amount of energy the club head transfers into the golf ball. It, 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 it can have an effect on the energy transfer, absolutely. Is it an amount of weight behind, how far behind the face? The actual stability of the face? 100%. So moment of inertia is essentially the resistance of the object, in this case of drivers, resistance to twisting on an off-center shot. And so, you know, when you think about forgiveness, there's a feeling you get. But there's more than a feeling. It's actually something we can measure. And it's both heel to toe and high to low. Those are the most important measures of inertia. And so we're going to talk about that number. It's a, a metric of grams per centimeter squared. You don't have to remember that, but essentially it's the resistance to twisting on off-center shots. And so to put it in perspective, over time, the inertia of drivers have gotten higher and higher and higher, but we've actually plateaued for, for a bit. And I want to show you sort of, I'm going to show you an image. If you guys don't mind looking at the screen over here, this is a stealth driver. Now this is an impact location, about 19 millimeters on the toe. Pretty, pretty fast ball speed mm -hmm. here. What's going to happen when that, when that impact happens? What do you think? Twist wide open. Twist open. open. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look. 12,500 frames a second. Nothing missed here. Thoughts on that? Anybody? Any reactions? Hope that's not a tour player. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like good. Is that your toe cut? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little scared. I was a number five. And I'm like, oh my god. Maybe it's me. <laughs> How many people? Well, first of all, when you hit a toe shot, now that's further on the toe than most of you hit it. But do you get that feeling in your hands? Yeah, yeah. it vibrates way more. But usually, you see a divey left. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. uh, ball flight. Now, how many of you see shots like that in your pro ams? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Too many times. <laughs> Pretty dramatic, right? In a very small uh, moment in time, that, that the, the face opens, the loft increases, and if we have the right curvature of the face, you can counteract that movement because it's going to happen on every driver. Yeah. What did the ball go? So, the, the, yeah. It's got to be a high slice. Three, ten down the middle. High slice. <laughs> high slice. <laughs> high slice for but when, sure. I hit a, when I hit a toast, literally dive to put to left. Right. When you hit everything right to left. <laughs> yeah, that's, no, just, that's, that's, that's not true. true. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> What I want to explain from this point forward is what we had to do essentially to counteract this and the quest that we've been on essentially for the last amount, few years, which is to increase the stability of the head, increase the inertia. But to do it, we, had to, we have to do things differently. First and foremost, we have to get to the point where we're using these really exotic, lightweight materials and more of it because you have to free up the weight. That's the first part. And so you'll see this, the new infinity crown of the, of the driver. I'll pass that around so you get a sense for like how light that is. Six layers of carbon fiber, light. super light. Oh, wow. Nine layer uh, carbon sole, we'll go this way. Car carbon composite ring. Uh, you've already felt the face. It's amazing it actually stays together. <laughs> is it surprising? And that's a, that's yeah, the that's... insertion of the back weight, right? Yeah, so the back weight, so that's the next part, is you're gonna, you're gonna take all the weight that so you've you saved yeah. and concentrate it in areas to increase the stability of the head. So this is a tungsten weight, it's about 32 grams. Is that right? It's heavier than you think. It's heavier than you think. I've got lots going on there. <laughs> it's really heavy. It's not like you could break that top piece. Right. I was like, this, through it. I was like <laughs> trying to give it to you. It's carbon deposit, yeah. Yep. Can you break? Or you try. Pretty hard to do. I would be careful. You slice my finger. No, no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and so the first step is to free up the weight, use all these materials. The second step is to concentrate and put that extreme uh, weight in the, in the corners of the head. And the last thing is to experiment with shape. And so there's a shape that you all uh, really primarily like, which is uh, something we've been making for quite some time. But to really push the envelope of inertia and forgiveness, sorry, you have to, to change that shape dramatically. Now, what happens when you get increase in inertia? When you look at the history of our company over time, I can tell you for the first time in our company oh, history, <laughs> we're going to hit 10,000 inertia, which is a big accomplishment. Uh, both in the industry and certainly for our company. If you go back to 1979, you see sort of some of the generational drivers that have shaped the golfing world over time. Some of those maybe pop out to you, but you can see the stability over time. Year on year, there's never been a gain where's the bigger tour, than where, the one. Where's the tour burner in there? Tour burner yeah. would be on pre -bubble. right after the burner 09, before, uh, before rocket balls. What was the white one? You know, the white face? Yep. No, no, I'm talking about the... Uh, tour burner, like the tour oh, preferred. Oh, yeah, well, tour preferred. Uh, that's pre bubble, right? Yep, 92 before tie bubble. Yeah. Okay. Kind of below yeah, the 4,500 yeah. range. Yep. Twisted buck trap. Yeah. Over time, there there's this increase where we're focusing on forgiveness. Maybe we sacrifice speed, or, or in, in some cases, we may get it together. When we get to the multi material, you see another jump, sort of in 2016, 17, 18. And then we focus on speed, speed injections, and all sorts of things like that sim, aerodynamic shaping. Now, stealth came in, inertia came down a touch, but you had this better energy transfer, a different metric, a different variable happening. And then again, year on year, this last year to next year, never have we had a gain as big as the one that we're about to experience. Any, any other drivers that are nostalgic up there for you? R7. R7? R7, yeah. 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 M2. It's amazing we think how good the M2, M2 was, and you look where it is on that light. Wasn't an R5 and then R7? There was an R5 in there yeah. as well, yeah. yeah. I, I, mean, played you, I remember hitting that one in Germany one time. Oh, the R510 TP. Uh-huh. Yes. That. Yeah. yeah. That was, was a good driver. That was a really good driver. That was hot. So if you think about for, it over time. For the time. Yeah. yeah. You weren't asking for more inertia. You weren't asking for more stability, but you're playing it when you saw the benefits of it over time, whether you knew it or not. Yeah. And so we are definitely taking a leap here to an area that you're probably not ready for, or some golfers aren't, but a lot of them are. They are definitely lining up for it. 
So what does it look like? What does it mean? This is just, this is a number. You what mean we're not mean? ready to hit a further and straighter? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> why would you, <laughs> why would you want to do that? <laughs> so if you think about what, what that means to the golfer, you take that same shot. All right. Now we're looking at the 2024 driver. That's still 19 millimeters. 19 millimeters on the toe. How consistent is this guy striking it? Very unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> what happens at 12,500 frames a second? At 10K? More than half. Right there. That's 19. Still needs like, to work on his release. How does that, <laughs> what is, where is that, like, what is 19 millimeters off? How far off the toe? Just so I know, like, make sure I'm not. Yeah, so you're, far. you're talking of. It's a lot. Yeah, 1.9 centimeters. It's like. It's a lot. So you can see. You it's can a lot for Tiger. You can it's see a lot the, for us. You can see where the score lines are. It's just inside here, right? Okay. Right there. All right. Yeah. yeah. I've seen two marks there. You can see where the score lines are. <laughs> so, so when you look at it side by side, let's yeah. just see here right here so you can get more of a flavor of yeah. the difference between just over 7,000 inertia on the one on the left and 10,000 inertia on the one yeah. on the right. So if you throw more weight than more than 32 grams in the back, would that be less, less twist as well? If you put more than, weight than in the back, it would be even less twist. Less than yeah. MY would be higher? MOI would be higher. Now, you're trying to balance. Yeah. You have to balance the launch conditions yeah. and everything, the playability of the product as well, right? What do you think happens when you get something on the right side there versus the left side, performance-wise? Increase in distance. Dispersion, way better. 100%. So you think, do you think many golfers that you, you play with or even yourselves could benefit from something like that? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. So this is the quest that we've been on. This is what we're going after. This is what we live for. It's what we get up for every day. We try to improve the performance of our products and help golfers play better golf. Okay. So I know you guys are all on board with that. Um, and with that, you know, comes a new name and you've seen it already, but the idea that we're on this quest for 10,000 inertia. So Q I 10 is sort of the umbrella that, uh, that folds over the whole product line. And with that comes, three drivers, three different shapes. One uh, that is the largest size, and you, you're, now would be a good time to kind of open the bags. You've seen some of these drivers. You may have not seen the QI-10 Max, which is oh. the 10,000 inertia. Oh, that's the Max? Is that yeah. The yeah. yeah. And Onelli, you've tested like this. I'm the one that got the Max. I tested the Max. <laughs> yeah. 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 This I is a shallow one. Yeah, well, right. And yeah. that's what I like, yeah. It's big, yeah. It's big that way, but a shallower in face yeah. because of it. It changes the perception, I think, of the you know, when you set it down. I like the line on top. Yeah, makes it so square. Yeah, and the subtle blue face. I like when the club looks like one mm -hmm. hole. Scotty, thoughts, cause, uh, aesthetics, or? Yeah, that's the first thing I noticed when I, when I hit it the first time was how clean like the top line was. That mm -hmm. was something that if I could nitpick the, the last driver and the, or the last two drivers, that mm -hmm. would be something where they didn't look as square. This one looked a lot more square when you set it down. Okay. Charlie, what do you think? It looks nice when I hit it yesterday. It was really good. Yeah. Yeah. So, Brooke, you haven't had a chance to hit it yet, but what's your first impression? Well, it looks fast. It I like that. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I see what they're saying here. I think that'll be really nice to look down on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited to hit it. Awesome. Yeah, so you see now that infinity crown that kind of comes over the top that makes that clean look. Mm -hmm. I think I've heard that a lot from a few of you. And, Scotty, remember that was one of the first comments you had when you were testing it. Um, and then you, you see some of the other technologies that you, you may have caught as we were passing parts around. Still has speed pockets, has that full carbon sole. Um, and then in the LS head, the one that most of you will play, yeah, you see that new weight system. Yep. Yeah. Screw stay stationary, the weight slides. So from an aerodynamic standpoint, yeah. it's great. They're the same. Just a profile. Oh, nice. oh yeah. That's that's when you'll be hitting. Say that again? Yeah. No, just the LS versus the Max, just a different profile. Yeah. Long at the back. Yeah. I think it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It looks like this one's yeah, I just, I'm curious yeah, to see what, like what my gram weight is in the back. I don't yeah. know what, yeah. what, what it was. That's an illusion right now. And then the QI-10 is kind of right in between those two. Yeah. Fraction yeah. Max heel bias. Because I tend to hit it off the heel. Heel cut. So make it a little hotter there. Yeah. Yeah, we got differences. That's similar to that one. Yeah, but like this one's. Mm. Any other thoughts, comments? Looks good. It does look right. really good. 
Awesome. All right, you guys want to get out and start warming up? And oh, yeah. Yes, please. please. All right, let's do that. Jinx. Class is, class is Jinx. Jinx. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. I did feel like I was getting called out in class today occasionally. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, <God. laughs> That's for beating me in pink. <laughs>